All right, and a very good Saturday to you. How's your morning going so far? Did you get your cup of coffee or your tea or some people maybe like a diet Coke? <laughs> I don't know. Some people start their day that way. Uh, not me. I'm your host, Randall White. We discuss food, wine, craft beer, travel, tourism every Saturday morning at this time right here on this very station. However, that will switch to Sundays starting in September. Uh, when we add KSCO out of Santa Cruz to our lineup, and that's a 50,000-watt powerhouse, so it goes right on into the Silicon Valley. In fact, I was just up in San Jose the other day, and it came in loud and clear, which made me happy. <laughs> and then that goes right on down all of Monterey County and starts to fade out right as you get into San Miguel, right when you start picking up Crush 92.5. So it's perfect, and we want to be live on all stations, and so the time slot that works for that is Sundays from 8 to 10. So that will be changing as we uh, move into September. Okay, it is my pleasure to welcome to the Eat, Drink, Explore studio this morning, well-known Paso Robles winemaker Gary Eberly. Not only is Gary our sponsor, <laughs> but a sponsor of great radio in general here on the Central Coast. He also is a driving force behind an event that raises important scholarship dollars for students graduating from Paso Robles High School. The event so far, get a of this has raised nearly $380,000 helping students realize their dreams. It is expensive to go to college or vocational school, whatever it might be. Uh, sometimes the choice is I can't do it. I got to work instead. And then you know, then once a few years go by, next thing you know, you're in the career mode and you uh, skip the whole schooling. So Gary and his gang of friends in Paso Robles help cook their way to get kids to school. Last year's graduating class was given $30,000 in such awards. Gary and his cook-off crew are hoping to match or even exceed that total this year. Welcome to the program, Gary. Thanks, Randall. It's good to be here. And so uh, this is held, as I understand it, River Oaks Hot Springs. Yes. And where is that exactly? Uh, it is uh, off of Buena Vista. It's essentially across from the new uh, Cuesta College North County campus. Okay. Uh, back in that area of town, just on the east side of the river. Yeah, and we're just a week away from it, August 11th, mm -hmm. from 6 until 9 o'clock. Yep. And people get their tickets how? Uh, they can go online, mm -hmm. uh, uh, call the Chamber of Commerce, uh, call uh, the Pass Robles Rotary Club. Uh, tickets are everywhere, or you can just get tickets uh, at, at the, the event. At the event. Yeah. And this is a rotary event, correct? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, it started off uh, as a competition between me and Toby from uh, Tobin James. Okay. Uh, uh -huh. one, my One of my best friends, and I gave him his first job in the business back in 1980, and then uh, uh, when I started Eberly, I drug Toby along, and we always used to have this little competition about who was the best barbecuer. <laughs> That's and, fun. And suddenly I, I'm, I'm becoming the president of Rotary in, in 99, and I said, uh, geez, here's a chance to to raise some money for scholarships yeah. because uh, I wanted, I, without scholarship, I would have never gone to college. Mm -hmm. Never would have happened. And uh, is, a, is the president, pre, the president-elect president and past president, give we were doing about three thousand dollars in scholarships, and we were giving out two and three hundred dollars scholarships, and it was embarrassing because you'd get uh, thirty, forty applications, yeah. and every one of them needed Worthy. a scholarship. Yeah. So I, I needed a way to raise money, and uh, we came up with the end of the the three hundred and eighty thousand is what we've given out in scholarships. We also started a foundation that we've put four hundred thousand in, and it's to perpetuate. When it gets so big, then we start, we're starting to take money off of that also. So you're planning ahead. I love that. With the, uh, you know, I, when I first went to school, I went to two years of junior college before I went eventually to Cal mm -hmm. Poly here. And uh, the two, my two years of, of junior college were paid for by a scholarship called the Doyle Scholarship. And if you're familiar with San Francisco and the approach to the Golden Gate Bridge, that's called Doyle Drive. Uh, mm -hmm. There was a man with the last name Doyle who uh, lived up in the North Bay. He was a proponent of getting the Golden Gate Bridge in, and uh, which is why that's called Doyle Drive, because he knew that that would create... M 
would really boost the economy of the North mm-hmm. Bay, and it did. And uh, so he made a lot of money, and when he died, his uh, estate was put into this perpetual sort of thing, and all of the money every year that's generated by that account uh, goes to these Doyle scholarships. So really all you have to do is apply to Santa Rosa Junior College, and you basically get a Doyle scholarship, and it helps pay the way. And that's, that's what right. you eventually want to do is build this nest egg for that sort of thing, right? We, we would like to get to the point where we can give – Fifty thousand dollars a year in scholarships. Last year we did thirty thousand, and we're still building the foundation. It's not where it needs to be yet, uh, but uh, this year we're hoping to do thirty, thirty-six thousand, because and we want to give scholarships that have a meaning. You know, mm-hmm. a three hundred dollars scholarship. Yeah, it's nice. It buys a book. Yeah, nowadays. But uh, yeah, so uh, in the Rotary Club, you know, there isn't a better. Uh, uh, venue or organization, and uh, it just was such a natural. And we have so many good people in Rotary, like uh, Vicky Silva and Sally Davis, and people that have just taken my idea and really run with it. And Rotary is primarily a uh, business organization for connecting businesses to the community, right? And that's yes. exactly what this is doing. Yeah. That's fantastic. Now, we, if for people that are watching on the app or via the website and can actually see the show, uh, we do have some pictures we're sharing of last year. I believe it was last year's event. And is this being held at the same location? Same place. Same mm-hmm. place. So you have a beautiful venue there for a stage, and there's live. It's not just a cook-off. There's yeah. live music as well. Yeah, uh, Julie uh, Beaver and the Mad Dogs are playing again this year. Tickets are $75, and you cannot eat all of the food that is presented. I mean, there is so much food. You'll have 30-plus wineries, each doing appetizer-sized portions, but I'm talking about, you know, yeah. Large sliders, out, right. yeah, sliders <laughs> whatever. And, uh, I mean, I defy anybody except uh, some of these guys that eat in hot dog contests to go around and actually... <laughs> The, only the judges, really, because uh, we've got two two trophies, the, the People's Choice Award, which I call the Hannibal Lecter Award, <laughs> and, <laughs> and then there's a professional panel of the judges. Uh-huh. And okay. Um, the professional panel, they can't take bribes, but on the uh, Hannibal Lecter Award, you can bribe people with special bottles of wine, special this or that. To get tickets. So That's it, uh, fun, and it's a good way to also just keep the enthusiasm up and people yeah. donating and, and that sort of thing. Th- did you say 30 wineries? 30 plus, yeah. Wow. So there's, the, I mean, no surprise in the Paso area that yeah. there'd be a lot of great wine paired mm-hmm. with these foods. Uh, what sort of uh, items are most popular? Like you'll see a lot of, you mentioned sliders. Boy, I mean, everything. Um, you know, people really keep things, uh, you know, secret, but... Everyone every year tries to outdo themselves, and you have, you know, you'll have oysters uh, on the grill. Everything must be cooked on the grill uh-huh. by either the owner or and or winemaker. And but you oh have good, a, I like a that crew. Uh-huh. And uh, uh, I mean, I, I I can't even begin to tell you. And then the Madonna Inn, uh, Mrs. Madonna and Alex, when he was alive, always donates dessert, and we have. You know, if you like the pastries from the Madonna Inn, Who they doesn't? bring up these huge sheet cakes, just one after another, and you know, four or five different flavors, and you can have, try one of them or all of them. And it's you, you will not go hungry, and there will be enough uh, wine to <laughs> satisfy. So, so fast on this is on a Saturday, right? Yes. So fast on Friday, and then yeah. and then on Saturday, designate a driver and eat and drink to your heart's content. Listen to some great music and raise some fantastic dollars. Now the yeah. tickets are seventy five. There must be considering the numbers that you're saying. There must be other ways in which money is raised through this event. Oh yeah, we uh, we have sponsors. Uh, um, IQMS is our big title sponsor this year, but the whole community uh, really gets behind. Uh, this event, uh, when we first started, it was um, just nothing. Yeah. And now it's probably, I mean, we, I don't want to say sell out because we never turn anyone away at the gate, but uh, it for gets all close. Purpose, yeah, it's, it's pretty. Now, Gary, you're really well known for your barbecue. Uh, I know that uh, 
for big events like Father's Day and such, you hold those uh, barbecues. And also the Pastor, big Pastor Robles Wine Festival every yep. year, you hold mm-hmm. those uh, special barbecues on Sundays, right? Whenever the mood moves me. Yeah. Uh, we, we just did one last Sunday. And it's, uh, people say, well, when are you going to do it? And I said, I don't know. There's three guys, three of us, uh, Dennis Cassidy, who's the current president of the uh-huh. and Jeff Pennick, a good friend. And we'll get a Saturday or a Sunday or uh, sometimes uh, even in the, in the middle of the week. And when we haven't had our fill of, uh, you know, ribs or tri-tip, we say, hey, you want a barbecue? And we'll barbecue for uh, three, four hours. And uh, we used to be complimentary and we just hand the stuff out. But now... Uh, we ask for a quarter donation that goes to the Children's Museum in Paso Robles. See, this is the type of guy this is. And you know where I first met him? I first met him at a Creston Chili Cook-Off for the exact same cause, scholarship Mm -hmm. uh, money. And we were both uh, judges uh, tasting some really good chili up there. They still do that, don't they? I haven't haven't gone the last two years, but I was doing it every year there for a while. I I was there last year. But... You know, you get invited, and if you can make it, fine. They've got a, a, a panel of about ten or twelve judges that they they call on. They do, and that's in October, and the, I believe it's in October, if mm-hmm. I remember correctly, because it's always kind of hot, and you know our yeah. weather around here yeah. <laughs> it really heats up uh, in the fall. And uh, I just remember so many of the people r- that cook the chili really getting into like costume and character and everything they can do to win your vote. You know, so it's uh, it's a fun it's a fun event. But the event on hand, you have one week to get your tickets. Uh, it is one week from today, and it helps out such a great cause. And you can just eat until you can't eat anymore and you know, have plenty of some of the world's best wines. Gary Eberly with Eberly Winery, thank you so much for coming in and talking about the Rotary Winemakers Cook-Off. And the website for that's a really easy one. I think it's winemakercookoff.com. Yep. That was a Easy. bonus to get that website. Yeah. So <laughs> we'll link that, of course, to our website, eatrickexplore.com. Thanks, Gary. Thank you, Randall. All right. Stick around, everyone. One of our very good friends, Gabe Saglia, is in Travel Zoo's extremely popular top 20. He narrows it in for us here on the Central Coast, including a San Luis Obispo staycation that's a great deal. We're up next.